Hello. Um, yes, Zelda stuff. Why is this so awkward? Uh, all right. Um, continue. Okay, so, like, not to make it awkward now. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, poof. All right, not awkward time. Let's go. So, pretty much, um, uh, we left off in the Color Ancient Tech Lab. Um, oh, yeah, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, everyone. That was kind of a strange 30 seconds to start out with, but, uh, <clears throat> oh, well. Anyway, so I have, uh, I have Shadow with me here, and, uh, luckily she's not all up in my face, which usually happens right about this time. And, uh, I did kind of position the camera a bit f more forward, you know, I don't know if that'll help. The last episode we left off, puff puff. Hello. Chopity chop chop. So pretty much we left off here, in the Akali Ancient Tech Lab. The. Matt. Are you judging me? <laughs> Alright. No. We left off here in the Akali Ancient Tech Lab, but basically, we have this epic torch on our backs. Pretty much, there are black moblins this way, or so I remembered, and there's a giant ancient oven up here. So basically, uh, yeah. Once we get that, we'll be at, we'll have access to, uh, some stuff. Yeah, stuff. I mean, it's prop. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the title of this video, but... Whatever. I like giving myself ideas early enough. Because like I mentioned in episode 10 of Breath of the Wild, I do not, not, yes, I do not name my, uh, my videos before, oh, wow, that's a black mob one right there, if I've ever seen one. You know, that's a blue one, isn't it? What's that? Oh, that's a blue mob one. We're good. It's blue. I thought it was black. All right. I thought it was a black mob one. Let's just kind of sneak around. So, do we have a picture of the normal Moblin at all? Just kind of curious about that. Blue Moblin, Black Moblin, we do not have a picture of a normal Moblin. We've just seen some of the strongest Moblins then. That's kind of funny. No! Oh, that's a 27 damage weapon with a blue Moblin. All right, we need to skid. Oh, wait, right. we don't even have a shirt on. I should probably put the champion's tunic on because that's one of our biggest things in defense here. Da 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 ba bum ba bum. And I said I was going to scan my amiibos in the last episode, but did I? No, I didn't. I, I just didn't. But basically, um, I have a safe kind of tr uh, trail to follow. And if you just occasionally light torches, just kind of jump down. You don't even you don't even need to light all the torches. In my eyes, it's pretty much useless. I have actually not done this in my full game. Are you kidding me? Is it gonna rain now? Seriously. Are you kidding? It's, it's gonna rain. No, we will not. Do you not notice? Oh, geez. All right. So what if we just? All right. Yeah. So pretty much, we're in a little bit of a situation with thunder and lightning and moblins. Did that moblin just pick his nose? Oh, I couldn't tell. Anyway. Not sure if you guys can see all that well. Yes, I'm going to try to cover up the windows. I know I've said that multiple times, but I just have not gotten around to doing it yet. So we just basically want to wait off. Oh my gosh, I do not like. I don't want to wait. Who am I? Waiting? Nah. Let's find a spot where it's kind of covered and set something on fire because <laughs> you know who I am, guys. Fire. Um. <laughs> All right, do I have any wood? Yes, I do. All right. And hopefully this works because... Does it work? Ow. Oh. it. Oh. Seriously? What about under here? All right, so I'm kind of running out of wood here. All right, let's just put it here. Who cares about wood? I'm running out of bows and fire arrows. All right, so let's do it till noon. Just cause, just cause. I like noon. Noon's cool. All right. Neo, it's not raining anymore. Will it rain soon? Yes, it will rain soon. So that's why we need to skedaddle, skedaddle, and hurry up because the next thing on weather is rain. And since we do not like rain, um. 
we're gonna skedaddle skedaddle like I've already said multiple times. Alright, so pretty much the Akala Ancient Tech Lab up there. I wanna run and just kinda go down to here, cause these are a bunch of blue bacoblins. If they see us, then that's fine, cause we'll just run and then we'll fight them and kill them, cause we're that kind of person. Um, oh dear. Have I taken a picture of you guys? Don't think I have yet. Ah! Uh, Alright. Let's just take a picture. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. Blue Bacoblin. That's a good picture. All right. All right. Any jazz? Hi, Hyrule Companion. Do not want to use the torch. Let's use this thing. We haven't used that before. Crap. I'm not sure if that's a useful weapon or not. Wait. What is? What's shooting? Oh, you. You're shooting. Whoa. You want to go? You want to go? Fine. You want to go? Oh, go. I'll go! Oh go! Come on, man! Let's move! Let's do this! I'll fight you! You're not hard! You're just weak! You're stupid! You smell like cheese! Is this a wolf now? Yeah, sorry, wolf. You're gonna kill me, so I had to kill you first. Alright, so we have a 12 damage weapon. That's, I mean, kind of weak in our standards, but whatever. We'll, we'll take it. So we need to kind of hurry up now. So let's get moving. That's a moblin over there, I think. Can't tell. That's just a deer. All right. So if it starts to rain again, we're in a dire situation. The stable music's playing. We're not that far from them. This is where I found the most trouble, because there's a guardian, uh, as you guys uh, know. No, no. Almost ran right into me, that's not cool. So let's set something here on fire. Let's set the whole forest on fire, see how that goes for us. So we're gonna set this one here on fire. Are you kidding me? I think you had to climb that like an idiot. Link, you had to just climb it, didn't you? Really? Alright, fine. I wish we could sprint with a torch in our hands, but we can't because Link puts it away. Link, you dingbat. We were supposed to not do that. Alright, so we're going on to seven minutes of me talking about Link being stupid in this game. Which, I feel that he is because he climbed when we didn't need to. We were so close to this uh, checkpoint. I know there are multiple little other torches here, but whatever, I don't care about those. I want to just run and kind of get to where I'm wanting to go. So, I'm going to take on this blue mob. And there's a blue choo choo. Or blue choo choo, you know, just the usual choo choo. Um, uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Ah! Oh! Alright, so we're going to uh, have to absolutely destroy this guy by means of absolute and total force. Alright, so luckily uh, our 45 damage weapon here can take him down pretty easy. But bad news, there's weather coming, rain to be specific, in about maybe an hour and 30 minutes, but not in real time, in this game's time. And this game's time flies really fast. Either that can be a good or bad thing. Most likely it's going to be a frustrating kind of difficult thing. All right, you didn't do it this time. Good job, Link. So if we can just kind of keep going. And up the hill there is the Akalis, uh Ancient Tech Lab. Uh, you know, because, like, we addressed that already. Oh, no. Like I said, this is the hardest part because there's a guardian. And guardians, they just stink. All right. So. And, of course, there's rain. Are you kidding? Kidding me right now? Can I make it to there? I want to make it to there. I want to make it to there. Oh man, really? Okay, fine. So basically, stupid weather in this game. Um, just ruins it whenever you need to have something. Whenever you need to have something. So pretty much it's going to be raining, and that sucks. So let's, uh, this guardian's going to get on my nerves quickly because it's a guardian. And actually, while I'm here, maybe we can waste some time killing it. Um, do we have any bomb arrows? No, we basically just, alright, let's just get this, let's get this one, because I want to put this one, I want, I don't want to use that one, because it's Rivali's weapon, it's, it's cool, 
But I don't want to, you know, use it because it's just... It's Raleigh's weapon. Anyway. Um, yeah, alright. Oh, uh, disclaimer. Um, yes. Seriously, I have these. Um, don't call me crazy. Alright, let's move on. So you'll be, uh, this area will be much easier to traverse if you have a good bow or whatever you have. And then basically what I, uh, what I want to do is just kind of like do a quick spin attack. And he's dead. So I think that was our first time killing one of these things. Not sure if we did a parry and in the first episode. But pretty much now, basically, it's kind of a dumb waiting game. That was good. I like that. 20 rupees under a rock. You know, you don't find that every day. Um, while we're here, why don't we just take some selfies? I know we're just kind of like wasting time now. Oh, hello, Link. Linky poo. Um, let's just, uh... Yeah, let's have this. The knight's bow with... Let's have a shock arrow, because shock arrows look cool. And we're not going to have anything else on, our, on us, so we're going to have kind of like a... Let's, let's just selfie mode then. Alright, I don't remember how to do this. Yeah, it's cool. Boom! We just took a picture of the knight's bow. Coolio! Anyway... doing this. The shock arrow kind of emits a light, and that's kind of cool. I know they all emit a light, but whatever. Let's have this thing. I wish we could just take a sh uh, picture with it. Uh, is there a way to do that? Okay, fine. All right, so we're not gonna base. We're basically just gonna do this for a long amount of time. So pretty much, we're kind of close to. I think we maybe we could run down there in that time, but of course, you knowing me, uh, I'm going to take a picture of some other things. Cause I'm me. Clip any clip. Here we go. Just taking a picture of everything in our in our inventory, cause I'm I'm cool like that, you know. Stop them though. Great eagle. Already taken a picture of that. I have already taken a picture of that. Let's unequip a bow entirely. So we've already taken a picture of no weapons, I don't think. So great thunderblade. Let's go. Soldier Frotter. Let's go. Actually, I could have gotten a cooler picture with that. Yeah! Soldier's broadsword! Um, replace picture for sure. Cause, uh, did we take a picture of this? Looks like we're about to chop something in half. <laughs> Coolio. Alright. So yeah, I'm saying Coolio. What do you think about it? Yeah, we're just taking pictures. Oh! Delete. So much fun. So we need to take a picture of the torch for some reason, because, I mean, it, it doesn't deserve anything special. It just gets to get on the back. And for those of you uh, who actually wanted me to take a picture of the torch, I might in the future. Actually, I don't care. I might in the future. Oh, that's cool looking. It looks like he has a giant lightsaber or something. Anyway, and then Spike Boko Club. That's not a cool enough weapon. Maybe if we can just kind of get a whoop de doo This is a Boko Club kind of thing. There we go. All right, what time is it? It's still raining for some reason. That's kind of stupid. Anyway, um, any more weapons we have not taken a picture of? I do not believe so. But uh, let's get some pictures of the shield here because oh yeah mm, that's nice that's real nice yeah 
Mmm, the night shield. That was cool. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think I better not take a picture of this. The guardian shield plus. Actually, what if I drop this? Because that just looks cool. Mmm. Whoop dee doo. And let's take a picture of the guardian shield just because. Yeah, from a side angle. That's cool. Alright, so basically we've taken a picture of lots of stuff. So let's have the torch out and ready. Because I believe it is done raining. Finally! So we also got a nice bit of stuff in the Hyrule Compendium. We're going on in 15 minutes. Wow, that's kind of sad. Anyway. Um, so now that we don't have that guardian there, he won't be a problem. But if something... It's turning nighttime, so that means... Stall the goblins and stall moblins are gonna come out, and that'll just suck. So, <laughs> apparently, walking through bushes with a blue flame uh, turns the bush into absolute red flame for some reason. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. Can we take a picture of rocks and then add that to the Hyrule Compendium? Because that'd be a nice addition. Uh, so close, so close, no monsters. Please, no monsters! Run! Ah! It just starts raining just now, and then everything goes out, and then, aw, oh, that would stink. Anyway, boom! So apparently that took 15 minutes, that's kind of stupid. Anyway, hello. Oh, Robbie's research is updated. Let's go inside and see what he has. Actually, since this is the tech lab, I want to change into something formal. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. You, Link, listen up, huh? My darling cherry is back to normal. The furnace is lit. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take a gift of my gratitude. <gasps> Ooh, these are some of the strongest things in the game. Alright. They're made with using Sheikah technology. I like to call them ancient arrows. In addition to ancient arrows, Cherry can make all sorts of ancient soldier gear. Uh, if you're looking to acquire some, uh, give your, uh, if you're looking to uh, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Rupees? Did you hear that? Ah, uh, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't been much in the way of funds for our research. That's why we might be willing, that's why we thought you'd be willing to help us out with rupees, lots of them. I beg of you. Yes, absolutely, bro. The Sheikah are cool, but not as cool as the Zora. Sorry. But the Sheikah in this game are pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyway. Then, um, then let's do it, hmm? The two of us, as soon as possible. Yes, let's. Conquer the Calamity, hmm? Yeah, yeah. Conquer the Calamity. Hi, beep, familiar name missing. What do we have? Okay. So basically we need three ancient cores, but now that we can get ancient arrows, which, you know, requires, <laughs> believe it or not, arrows. Yeah, we need arrows for this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need normal arrows, which kind of stinks because I have absolutely none right now. And guardian parts, lots of them. But we can make the ancient short sword or she ancient shield or an uh, ancient blade saw, you know. But we just need a lot of ancient stuff. And basically, this stuff is really cool and helpful. It's, it's neato, and it helps you protect you against guardians. So, uh, I'm glad that this is an option now. So guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to get some action and start hunting guardians. For real, guys. For real. Real guardians. Actual guardians. So, which is why I would like to start going to actually, yeah, to here. Do we not? Yeah, we took a thing here. So, which is why I want to go here. There are guardians here. It's intimidating and kind of scary. But we're doing it. We're going to hunt guardians this episode with our new stuff. And this here unlocks a huge, huge possibility. And uh, uh, the armor is, is tough. It's, it's worth it for sure. Um, it's definitely worth uh, that 15 minutes that we... Absolutely had to torture. That was miserable 15 minutes because rain, weather, guardians, you know, everything stopped us and just said no. But now, actually, let's just get a cool. Ah, uh, yeah, alright. 
Let's get a picture of this. Nope. I'm retaking this picture with spiked boko bow. I don't even care. Yay, replace old picture. It deserves it now. It has this cool, uh, you know, thing on it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to climb the tower this episode. Where is it? Oh, there it is up there. All right, so guys, this is the tower that I was talking about. So basically, we kind of want to skedaddle on over there, and then, you know, we'll, t we'll take the, uh, the path that requires us to get there. You know, that path. <laughs> wow. All right, everyone. So we're not ending the episode, because it's just 20 minutes. Um, this is actually a really incredible episode, because, um, uh, you know, we got all this stuff going. We literally got ancient eras, some of the strongest... Yeah, okay. So imagine me going back to the Great Plateau and getting a Boko bow. Like, you know, the Boko bow. Imagine me going and getting that. Alright? Oh, we don't need this torch. Imagine me going and getting that, and then fighting a guardian, one-on-one. -on -one. And then I shoot it in the eye with just one of these ancient arrows, and, uh, the guardian's instantly dead. Not kidding. Cool, isn't it? I, it's, it can be, like, one of the weakest ga uh, games, one of the weakest bows, and then, uh, it's just really neat. And let's see if I can make this. Yeah. I had that. Come on, man. Oh, there's a, like, a radish over there, so. Yeah. I told you so. Aw, Shadow's just kind of in the background. See, aw, oh, why is she laying on the floor? There's a bed right over there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. A big hearty radish. Okay, that's actually really good. What did I step over? Oh, that's a rock. All right. it's, oh, that's a rock. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a hearty truffle and a, a razor shrew. All right. Fine. A 15 damage arm. Got it. Fine. We'll use that. Ready? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna fight me? Sure, it's one of the weakest things in this game, but shush. Stop it. Alright, yeah, it's already broken, but whatever. I mean, we'll take what we can get. And then these Moblin Fangs, uh, these actually are decently valuable, coming in as 12 rupees. Which right now, we kinda are in- we have a lot of rupees for this point in the game. Actually, we don't have that many rupees, I don't know. It, it's kind of like a decision. What do you want to have? How many rupees do you want? You know, kind of deal. Um, we need to equip the torch. I don't even care what kind of what. Ooh. Yay, and this is honey. Have we picked it up? No, we have not. I can't believe we haven't picked that up. Because there's actually multiple... I think there's at least two spots in the Great Plateau where honey... It, uh, where honey is at. So, I don't know. Um... Either this episode, for sure, this episode we're getting there, and uh, not sure if we'll make it to the top, which we most likely will not in this episode. But, uh, no one cares because we got these ancient arrows, and I do not want to fire them accidentally, so which is why I'm switching to these. But the ancient arrows, we got, we got some free, for, uh, we got some free from Robbie, and we now have, in exchange for guardian parts and rupees, a place to get new armor, new weapons... And, uh, most importantly, Ancient Arrows again. So, not quite sure. I keep running out of stamina and it's stupid. Let's go. Oh. Alright. Oh. Fight me! that laugh. <laughs> Kilt and the fang and bow is just weird. Are you not going to give me anything? It's fine. She's not going to hand anything over. So, actually, we might just make it this episode. That'd be cool. Anyway, we might just make it to the top if Rivali's Gale decides to be polite and give us three. Nope, it has one. I don't know why I didn't check that earlier this episode, but... Probably because I didn't think we would be here in this episode. Because, uh... This is it? Alright, whatever. Fine. Uh, I might want to save those. Revali, revali. Um, make this go high up enough? Alright, there we go. That's nice. That was good enough. Alright. 
Uh, good enough, yeah. You're you're good, Ravali. You're good, Ravali. You're good, man. I don't absolutely despise you just because you're mean. Rito are just cool looking. And like I have, uh, like I've said with Midden in my Twilight Princess series, I like kind of somewhat sassy people. So that was cool. And uh, anyway, what's this? Okay, not a good spot to be because there are mobs. So I want to switch to my good armor again. So, it's very loud here. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank you. Hold on. Don't have a weapon. Hey. Thank you. Soldier's bow. No. I was about to say, I'll take that. Because the soldier's bow, it's kind of cool actually how uh, this game works. Because like, you see a soldier's bow and you're like, ah, no, I don't really need it. But it's better than this one, though, so. But, like, it's cool how this game works, because, like, you know, you see a soldier's broadsword, and you're like, mm, eh, alright, I'll take it. In, in some points in the game. And then there's points in the game where you're like, I don't even need this thing. It's so weak. I have, like, a 30 damage weapon's my weakest weapon. You know, there are so many points in this game, like, you know, where, where the soldier's broadsword was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest weapon ever. It does so much damage, but now, like, it's just kind of nothing anymore. I, I hate saying that, but, like, oh my gosh. Alright, so this is where the ancient arrows come into play. If I don't screw this up. Ah! Alright. Like I said, if I don't screw this up. Which, most likely, I will. I wasted one, sadly. But, uh, I do believe they can be picked up off the ground. Boom! I do believe that if I shot it, you know, here, I think they can be picked up, but... I remember if you shoot an ancient arrow on the ground, it's not like an ice arrow or a fire arrow. They actually, you know... Uh, they stay on the ground, you know, like normal arrows would. For some reason, I I'm not sure if they patched that, but I saw that once in a video, I believe. So... Mm -hmm. So that's right up there. Kala Citadel Ruins. Great. Alright, so putting on climbing gear and, uh, taking it slow. So 27 minutes, you know, that's fine. We might actually make it to the top of here. I don't know. Alright, so I have two ideas. We're, uh, going to name it, uh, either Akala, uh, Akala Tower or, um, um, Cherry the Ancient Oven or something. I don't know. Or Ancient Arrows. I don't know. I have multiple ideas. So, I think I'm going to make this video kind of short right when we get up to the tower and do that, you know. Please do not come over here. Ah, okay. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, yeah, those are black moblins and black goblins. Not sure if you've, you know fought one of those before, but I know we've seen a black moblin, but not a black cobble, I believe. I don't believe we've seen this guy. No, we have not. Alright, so it would suck if we just fell down right here. You, my friend, are entirely useless for my cause at the moment. And you hit me! You hit me twice! Shame on you. Um, alright. So, uh, usually I would just use Raleigh's Gale to traverse this area. But since I, are you, did I just jump straight in there? That was funny. Anyway. Oh, I've not found this chest, I don't think. Whoops. All right. So, uh, hang on. Jump cut. Jump cut finished. So I, I thought I heard like a beeping, like there was a microwave or something going on. And, I mean, off. Like there was a microwave or something. I thought I heard like a microwave or something. And I was like, what is that? So what's in here? Well, that's handy, alright. So that's a black moblin, again, because... Yeah, alright. Not sure what he has. Um, yeah, let's just kind of stay away, so... Top of this tower, it's a little crazy. But we can manage, we can manage, because... We call a tower. Alright. Shouldn't have done that. 
Um, alright. So I have a fairy on me. I have four. Alright, I'm good. We should be good. Alright, ow. Oh no. Okay! That was dumb. Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Alright. Rivali's tail is now ready. Yay! Alright, that's nice. Um, yeah, and you too, Rivali. You too, Rivali. That was cool of you, thanks. But I, w I was mostly excited about that 100 rupees, because money's awesome, you know? Okay. I love how I was just like, okay, no. Um, so basically, we kind of want to get up to here. Alright, here we go. We need a- Oh, oh dear! Um! Are you really kidding me right now? Oh, wow, all right then. And we are not gonna deal with this today. <laughs> Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, everybody. All right then. Uh, that's added to the funny moments. All right. But I want that sword and shield, man. Oh, so badly. All right. Did he just disappear? Just disappear. <laughs> What if I just knock it out of him like that? Stupid cobble. Now we can say we literally, uh, kind of... Yeah, we, we, we killed a, a black goblin. Yeah, we can say that now. That's cool, Leo. Um, where did that draw? Alright, I want that. I want the shield. All right. Sorry if that was just kind of, uh, you know, just, I, just okay. This will help us later. We can't carry anymore. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Garuda Shield. We're out of here. This just has no bonuses, but shush you. Shush, shush, shush. Shush turn. Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. Now I can just kind of jump up. All right, Nito. Yeah. All right. Thirty-two minutes. Just yeah. All right. That's nice. All right. Da 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 da. We got the Akala region, uh, map. Sheikah Tower activated. <laughs> Scanning area. Which is why I'm turning it up to 15. Yeah, here we go. Regional map extracted. Random points in the map have just been extracted for some reason. I don't know. All right, Nito, we have the Akala Tower currently. All right, so apparently we have explored this area over here, but just not found. So this is the tower for all this area here. The, there's a tower here, I believe, you know. But um, pretty much we found this way, you know, yada yada, and we were like, you know what? We and found our way to here. Um, all in one episode, mind you. That was cool. So, um, all right then. That's so cool. I can't believe that we actually, oh my gosh, did we not go to here yet? Uh, this is a challenge, guys. This area here is a challenge. But, you know, um, we might do that to finish off the episode. So, why don't we just do that to finish off the episode? We're not going to do the modest test of strength. No, we're going to do a major test of strength. So many awesome things have happened this episode. It's such, it's not really much of an action pack because the first 15 minutes with me running around with a torch complaining about things, but, uh, you know, hey, uh, about 15 or 16 minutes in, you know, here we are. Oh, we got new arrows. We actually beat a flying guardian. We got the Akala Tower, which in my opinion is the, the hardest tower to climb. You know, we did all this amazing stuff, and now we're going to go fight a major test of strength, which I do not think uh, we're going to be able to do properly. But shush. I can judge for myself. All right, so we used... Oh, wow, we're a little, we're a little short on weapons here, but... 
Hopefully I brought like stamina food because if I I do not have stamina food, I am never prepared. I jump head first into the darkness and hope I get good stuff, so that's not smart. But then again, I'm not really good at being known for my smartness. Actually, uh, a lot of people that I know say, oh, no, 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 you're really smart. And I'm like, all right, you know, it's just kind of like, uh, uh, okay, you know, it, no, it's like, hey, no, oh, dear, no, dear, that was bad. It's kind of like, oh, no, Aiden, you're really smart. And of course, not if it's it's not a shocker to you guys, because remember episode four, it's not a shocker that I said my name. Shut up. Uh, it's not a shocker that I said my name. Um, you know, whatever. You know, it's like, hey, no, no, you're smart. You're smart. I'm like, yeah, am I? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, whatever, I'll believe you. <laughs> so Um, major test of strength. Hopefully we do not die here. Um, cause what TNT bomb? First rule, do not die. Yes, I remember that quote. And we're going on to 36 episodes. That's cool. Currently. Alright, do not shoot at me. What did I tell you, Grandma? Ow. Oh no, okay. So pretty much I want to be entirely careful here. Alright. What can help us? Alright, nothing. Oh, we need to take a picture. Probably the worst time to take a picture! Okay, let's just call that a picture. <laughs> oh, no, no, put away. Oh, that was close. Alright, so pretty much. He's gonna uh, slam here. I'm gonna do it. Or not there, like an idiot. I'm going to go back and take these pictures again, of course, but I mean, what other weapon do I have? Nah, this is good. And these weapons do insane damage. Like, uh, the big axe does 60, which will for sure kill us in one hit, if we're not careful. So if we're not careful, we're probably gonna die in one hit. Alright, so yeah, if we're not careful, we're probably totally doomed. And that sword does 40 damage. And the spear does 20. Alright, so here he is attacking you. You can just kind of get a spin attack momentum going. No. Let's get a better picture. That's a better picture. Alright. Yeah, I replaced the picture. Because that looks way more intimidating. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, okay. So if we can manage to get... And no, actually, Ancient Arrows... Like, seriously, Ancient Arrows do almost nothing to this guy. Like, even if you shoot him in the eye, it does, like, nothing. Oh! Alright. So I did not have a shield out there. That was kind of... Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Come on. All right. <laughs> We're gonna totally run out of weapons. I don't know. Please don't tell me it's this. Ah! Here we go. Is this the unstoppable attack? Yes, it is. Alright. So we're just gonna absolutely want to wail on this guy. Go nuts. Alright. Thunderblade, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be used. <laughs> An ancient core, too! Uh, Alright. That was a very conclusive end. We now have three ancient cores, a giant ancient core, 60 damage, 20 damage, 30 damage. Oh yeah, all right, here we are. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild episode 13, where we literally got ancient arrows, climbed the Akala Tower, and defeated a Guardian Scout level four. And we got some new climbing gear. Whoa! 
Wow! We're doing insane in this episode. Actually, I might as well just call this episode lots of good stuff. Or just, let's call this lots of new stuff. Lots of new equipment or something. I don't know. So many episode name choices. Anyway, but we're going to end the episode off when this guy is is done talking, which he should be soon. Da 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 da. Two spirit orbs. You know, two. All right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> we might have enough time for the next shri another shrine, but I I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> you know, we're at forty minutes, and a forty minute episode's a long episode. So, <laughs> Shadow's just staring at the pillow, like my pillow. Oh no, I hope there's not spider crawling on it. Because that's happened before, actually. Um, yes, I'm recording in my room. Yes. And yes, I do. I'm a little spoiled. Fine. I'll admit it. Yes, I'm spoiled. Actually, yes, I will admit it. I am spoiled. Uh, I did get a Switch, you know, not that long ago. And, you know, I do have Amiibo, lots of them. Uh, granted, I did start collecting Amiibo before I got the Switch, so. And, you know. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, that was a cool episode, anyone? Uh, anyone? I mean, everyone. Not, uh, I mean, hopefully, um, you guys do enjoy this. This was a really action-packed full episode. We got, you know, another ancient core, of course. We got all these ancient arrows as well, which is cool. We got new climbing gear. Oh, we got, um, you know, all, all this weapon for sure. In fact, let's take, let's take an ending, let's take an, e an ending picture. All right, zoom out. Uh, anyway, everyone, that looks like a good picture to end the episode off on. Anyway, everyone, I guess that means I'll have to see you all later. Bye! What, do you think I'm going to waste my weapon? No, I'm not going to waste this damage on this thing. Bye, everyone!